I'm Michael Backfish. I'm the Middle East correspondent of the Financial Times Deutschland, and this is my contribution to Dubai De Debates number three. The GCC is condemned to diversify its energy portfolio. Um, just take uh, Saudi Arabia, 25% of the oil production goes into domestic demand, and it's getting worse in the years to come. In the next 10 years, the energy demand, domestic energy demand, is going to double due to high population growth, high industrial expansion, and high water demand. There are three principal avenues for broadening the energy portfolio. It's solar, it's nuclear, it's wind. Wind being the least likely because only Oman disposes of the eligible conditions for wind energy. So it's solar, which is the first choice. The UAE is the front runner as the target of uh, satisfying 7% of the domestic energy demand uh, by renewables by 2020. The Emirate has some experience with photovoltaic installations, with solar thermal installations, but the speed has slowed down. The ambition has decreased a little bit, whereas nuclear power has uh, gained in, in importance from the perspective of the government. Same situation in Saudi Arabia. Also big goals, but a very slow path in the meantime. Big goals by 2020, the government wants to cover 15% of the domestic electricity demand by solar technology, that's an ambitious target, but the path has slowed down. The kingdom has some experience in photovoltaic installations, mainly by uh, satisfying remote areas with uh, pilot projects and photo photovoltaic installations, but the speed uh, is, is not very high. Also, as in the UAE, nuclear energy has gained importance. Saudi Arabia wants to build 16 nuclear power plants by 2030. That's quite a bit. Qatar is lagging quite behind and Kuwait is lagging very much behind. The country does not have a real diversification strategy. So what needs to be done in the GCC, uh, in my opinion, is a concerted energy strategy. First of all, you have to push, or the governments have to push for solar energy. They have to think about feed-in tariffs, they have to think about subsidizing solar electricity instead of subsidizing electricity generated by fossils. And the public awareness has to be increased with regard to saving energy. There have to be programs, information programs, education programs, and finally the governments also have to think about the price, increasing the price, because that's a message everybody understands. Last but not least, energy efficiency. Houses have to be insulated the right way by using the right building materials. Uh, in a nutshell, you have, there is not one lever, you have to have a concerted energy strategy across the board.